welcome to KSA data vision YouTube channel in the previous video We have seen about the merge command in power query editor if you have not seen please visit our previous video in the current video What we are going to see is we are going to see about what is this append? So merge and append are two important concepts that comes under the power query editor now we we'll look into what is this append so before going into the topic let me see what type of data we have and we have five files april june july march and may so let me show you the data in the april month maybe we have the date the client how much revenue they have made in the june again exactly the same but only the date changes this is for june july march and may now what is your one observation you can do in this five data sets is the structure is same For all the five data sets you have date client and sales So the client has sent you five different files for five different months Now as a power bi developer what you can do is why you need all five data sets. Why can't you club into one? That's the requirement. Okay, so in order to go to the power query editor you have two things you can go in a two ways so one is let's say you get an excel um, or a csv file let's say this time i'll get the august data and whenever i get the data you have an option of load and transform data the moment you click the transform data you will be uh, take you'll be taken to a power query editor or you can click still click the load if you click the load you'll be still be in the power view with the loaded data and you have in the home tab you have something called transform data you go to the transform data you will be taken into a separate window called power query editor power query editor as i said it is a built-in etl tool that is available within power bi now if you see here april march may june july august there are five data sets uh, i'm sorry six data sets it's like a six queries now what we can do is we'll try to club everything now what I'll do I'll go with append first. I'll explain what is this append query as new Let me click this append query as new the moment I click this append query as new Let's go with the first option. Let's say two tables one is April. Maybe one is March and I'll click ok Now if you see here so all if you if you see all the data sets all the data sets is having 10 10 records 10 this is 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 10 and this after appending you can see that april and march data has been appended so you can see 20 records now i can go and rename this as april may 2020 i'm sorry march april right now you have 20 records now again what you can do again what you can do you click this go to the append query as new this time i already have the march and april let me append with may now i'll click ok now if you see now this data set becomes March April May 2020 Now if you see this data set will have 30 records you can see April you can see March 03 and you can see May Now it becomes 30 records. So do you think this is feasible? You keep on adding this is not the right way to do it. So let me delete it Let me delete it Okay now what I can do I'll go here. I'll go again for the append query as new this time I will not select two tables. I will select three or more tables already April was selected now drag this May, drag this March and you can even press control click and you can just add at once and you can click OK. Now if you see this is like all month of 2020. Now if you see we have one two three four five six files in this this file you can see the 60 records All the files is been up appended row by row now I'll go to close and apply Now you can see that this was April this was August this was July this was June March May and if you see now you will be seeing all the six month data here this is what is required as per my requirement this was my end result now what is this append append is like a union operator in sql which you can append the data row by row that's the actual concept of append previously we have seen about merge merge was like a join 
okay different data structures you want to club it you should have a common column that was a different concept and now we have seen the append append was like clubbing row by row now we'll again go back we'll again go back and you can just click this now this time i will go and click append queries okay i will not go with append as new but i'll go with append queries now if you can see this three or more tables already this file is selected now i'll press control i'll select select everything i'll add it and then i'll click okay now it has happened but now if you observe in this file itself all the data has been appended two things either you want to append in the same data set or you want to append in a new data set that is what is the meaning between append queries and append query as new so this two concepts is very very important merge and append definitely they'll ask you in the interview as well if they ask you the difference between merge and append you have to say that merge is like a sql join where you can join two or more data sets by a common column it's like you can even say that column level but when you ask about the append append is like a union operator in sql where you can append the data row by row if you say this once it's more than enough and this is a practical example that we have seen in the real time if you want to get month by month they're sending the files and you want to put it everything into one so that your analysis analysis becomes easy please go with append queries so thank you all for watching our video we'll come back with few more videos on power query editor if you're not subscribed our channel please subscribe our channel